and this is about directional derivatives and the gradient. So we're going to learn about um, about finding directional derivatives for a function of the variables and the gradient and use this gradient uh, function or the gradient of a function rather to look at some applications and then we're going to extend this to three dimensions for this um, idea of the gradient. Well, so what do we know so far? So, uh, let's see, when we find a partial derivative So, uh, and let's look at the two variable case. So we're finding the partial derivative with respect x. This is the rate of change in, in the direction of x. Okay, so that's how, that's how much the function changes in this case with respect x. And the other partial derivative, the partial derivative with respect y, that, um, it's kind of slow that will give us the derivative in the direction of y but well i mean if we think about the real world wouldn't just move in the x direction and then in the y direction right we'll move pretty much in infinitely many directions well so the directional derivative it's going to give us that rate of change in uh, in a direction other than just x or y well so for the simplest case um, what we're going to do is going to relate this derivative with this unit vector and well in, just to give us some sense of direction and so suppose well let's let me give you a let me give you a, a, a better diagram here so 